going to be mounting the um, the ball screw today. So I'm going to make some some brackets down this end. I think I'm just going to use a bit of this, just a bit of um, old channel. And I think what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do is just cut a section out in here, and then just weld that in. Drill some holes into here, tap holes into there, um, and then in here I'll go and tap a couple of holes. Well, sorry, I'll drill a couple of holes into here, and then I'll tap a couple of holes into the back of there. So when that sits on, I can do two bolts here and two bolts in the back there. That will hold that on nice and nice and strong. Uh, and then on this end, I think I'll just pretty much do the same thing. Put a piece in the middle of there. Um, work out where that needs to go, draw and tap a couple of holes in there. So that's the plan. Um, I guess we'll get to it. Of course, I got my safety gear. Got my earmuffs, safety glasses.
that's it for this part of the project. We've got the mounts all back on, all bolted on this time, not welded. Had a comment in the last video about the welding. I'm gonna definitely probably pull the ball screws apart, clean all the um, any grinding dust and things that I've got on them. And same with the linear rail or the linear guides, so I'll, I'll, I'll clean those out as well, get all the, um, all the dust and crap out of them. Um, I guess the next project will be sand and epoxy um, to fill the cavities inside the box sections here. And then once that's done, that's pretty much this axis sorted, um, apart from taking it to my mate's workshop and machining the top surfaces and the bottom surfaces there so everything's nice and parallel and flat. Yeah, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Any suggestions or, you know, just general comments, um, let me know. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing because a lot more projects to come. And thanks for watching.